Hi guys, welcome to episode 10 of my Manchester United Football Manager 2017 playthrough. Now, you'll probably notice straight away uh, we are no longer top. Um, that is because we had an FM bullshit game against West Ham. Now, before we let's before we talk about the Spartan Moscow game, which was quite good, uh, we'll talk about the West Ham game. It was one of these games that I was really upset at. Now, we had a lot of things going against us in this game. For number one, international duty. I cannot fucking stand international duty. Marcus Rashford injured on international duty. Out for three weeks, four weeks. Not good. Anti Martial injured in this game. Out for a few days, but it's you know it's bad enough. You know he was out for like a week, I think. Um, which really angered me. But this game was absolutely frustrating. I mean, we rotated the side a wee bit. Uh, brought in Rashawn Williams. Um, Twinsby started um at the back. Callum Gribben started in midfield. You know, um, but David De Gea, um, had to come off as well because he was he picked up a knock. So. That's another one that kind of wrangled with me a wee bit. Um, however, Callum Gribben scored a one, uh, so he set up a goal for Rashawn Williams with a free kick ball over, and Rashawn Williams just slammed the ball home from five yards. Brilliant. Fantastic. <sighs> West Ham scored twice. There wasn't anything special. No ball in Antonio, they were average kind of goals. But what really angered me was then Zlatan had a penalty. And instead of slotting it home nicely like he should do, he smacked it straight at the bloody keeper, who didn't move. Therefore, we lose 2-1. And to, to put it bluntly, I was just slightly angry. <laughs> um, I think the, the words kicking pillows around the room um, pretty much summed that up. So we are currently sitting in third. Um... We can go, if we beat Arsenal today, we can go back on top. But third it is at the moment, so that's okay. Um, on to more happier notes, the Spartan Moscow game in the Europa League. Again, very rotated side. Um, we, we're obviously, we've won the, the group anyway. Um, so this was just icing on the cake. You'll notice one notable name on the team sheet was Wayne Rooney. Um, that was just simply because... We had nobody else. Um, I mean, we literally, with Martial and Rashford both injured, um, we had and Zlatan struggling really uh, to find form. We had no one else, and Zlatan also picked up a, a wee injury in this game as well. So, not the best. Um, Angel Gomez, man of the match performance, um, two assists on the day, really quite good. Win Rooney scored two goals. Can't argue with his performance. Callum Gribben also scored and Zlatan added another one as well. So, overall, fairly fairly solid performance. Good performance by Rashawn Williams. He was first to everything. Um, never saw him give the ball away once. So, really happy with that. So, Europa League group looks a bit like this. Us on top. Apoel next. Spartak Moscow and Rio Ave. So we've got one more game to go in that group, and that's at home to Apoel. So again, I'm expecting to win that as well. So hopefully, you know, we'll just put out the kids, get them more experience, and all should be good. So on to today's game then. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip forward to game day, and I'll see you guys in a minute. So game day, guys, against Arsenal, and let's start off with the two teams. Looking at Arsenal, we've got checking goals, Monreal, Paulista. Koscielny and Bellerin at the back, Coughlin and Cazola in midfield, with Sanchez, Ozil and Walcott just behind Giroud. For us today, we've got De Gea back in sticks, um, we've got Luke Shaw at left back, Darmian at right back, Twinzabi and Smalling in centre back. Midfield diamond as usual, Schweinsteiger, Pogba, Gribben and Mata. Uh, Gribben taking Herrera's place, uh, who is injured today, and Ibrahimovic and Rooney up top, because we've still not got any other bloody strikers. So what we'll do is, as usual, we'll go to our go-to guy, who's Phil Cannon, apply advice to team, and do the usual closing down of the goalkeeper, which I quite like to do, see if there's anyone else that we 
should watch out for. Theo Walker will give him hard tackling just because he's a wimp. Um, close down Alexis Sanchez because he's the main danger man, to be honest. Um, and continues the team talk. Give the fans some money's worth. Try and fudge it a wee bit with the getting the greens, which we do okay. And let's go into the game. So, Ibra, ball to Pogba, Gribben, good ball over Ibra, Rooney. Oh, it's one of these bullshit first highlights that comes to absolutely nothing. I mean, surely to God they can let, you know, they must be able to, you know, let the move finish or something before they quit the highlight, surely. I would have thought, but, you know, Shaw, Pogba, back to Shaw. What can you do? Oh, he's lost it. He's lost out and here's Giroud and here come Arsenal on the break. They're quick. They're very quick and good tackle, smalling, but Walcott's got it. Put it back in and Coquelin heads it over. Wow. Well, there's a warning if ever you saw one. That we are going to struggle in here today. Walcott with the corner. It's Giroud and it's 1-0. And that is poor defending. It's uh, Gabriel Polista who scores the goal. Now, this is disappointing. From a set piece as well. We shouldn't be conceding from a set piece. It was Gabriel uh, Polista who scored the goal. And it was poor defending all round, really, to be honest. So, just got to get back into it, hopefully. Scribbin could be... Oh, he's only warned. That's okay. I thought he was going to get booked there. It's been a very quiet first half, to be fair. Nothing much happening. De Gea with a kick. Ibra. Good header on, but there's nobody there. Rooney's, you know, really not shaking a leg at all. Schweinsteiger, Pogba, Gribbin. Ball to Mata. What can you do? We ball to Twins Abbey. Shock of the ball from Twins Abbey. And they're through again and they're going to score. I can just feel it. Oh, Coquelin's missed again. Oh, for a start, why is Coquelin being given the entire space of Freedom Old Trafford? Um, aggressively, show me something else. Get out there, do something. Callum Gribbon's coming off, he's not playing well. And he's a wee bit injured as well. So I'll bring on Henrik Mkhitaryan to replace him. And just say, just go and do it. I'm expecting a good display from you. Because you're a multi-million pound sign and you've done nothing so far. Ibra to Mkhitaryan. Good ball to Rooney. To Pogba. To Rooney. Comes to nothing yet again. And this really is something that SI should look at because it's really irritating the fuck. That first highlight syndrome. Oh no, Twin Zabby's off. Twin Zabby's going. You knew it from the moment it was the last man. Wow, we don't have our troubles to seek, do we? Right, okay, we'll take off Rooney because he's done nothing anyway. We'll play someone by. And we'll play Ebra on that side. But still is the complete forward on his own. Up top. <laughs> yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll move Pogba into the centre there. Move Mata and Mkhitaryan up to there. And play him behind Ebra. That'll do. It's not great, but <laughs> we've been left with next to no choice in the matter. Right, come on, bye. Let's get into them. Come on, guys. Giroud misses with the, the free kick. So, we get away with that one a wee bit. But yeah, I mean, the, it's just so poor when you put your trust in people and then they do stuff like that. I mean, that's it's a shocking decision by Twins Um I mean, he was holding down a first-team place there for a while. So, disappointed. Pogba. Darmian. Oh, didn't Pogba. Oh, shocking ball. Small and wins it, but bye now. Ball to Schweinsteiger. That's a terrible ball in. But Pogba's won it back to Ibra. To Mkhitaryan! What a finish! He 
again, Rick Mikatarian. It's 1-1. One, one. That'll do nicely. What a finish this was. I did say to him, I want them to do something. And, well, you can't say further than that. What a goal. 1-1. One, one. Small one, don't you start, for fuck's sake. A second centre-back sent off. Oh, no. Oh, for fuck's sake, Darmian. And we're down to nine men. Well, isn't this good? <laughs> Just when you think you, you know, you've got it all sussed. Right, we'll take off Mata. And put... Um, O'Connor there and we'll just have to sort of fudge this for a while and just try and contain for the last 20 minutes try and keep the 1-1 one -one scoreline is Mkhitaryan Smallin oh no here come Arsenal with the break here's Ozil Alexis Sanchez, good save to here. Dave the save with a great stop there to thwart the attack because I really did think they were going to score there. There's Mkhitaryan, always lost it to Coquelin. To Alexis Sanchez, Giroud, a good save to here. Well in. This is back to the wall stuff now. We've got nine men, two red cards, I'm no happy. I'm going to go through these players at the end. Because um, nine men is, you know, leaving the team with virtually nowhere to go. But I think that could be it. McIntyre swings it in and that's going to be it all over. And it'll be a 1-1 one draw. Very happy with that in the circumstances. Been down to nine men. Having two of your centre backs or two of your defensive team um, to come back and salvage a draw. But I'm going to go fucking through these guys. Disappointing you for getting sent off. And you. He still looks delighted. I don't understand that. But hey, that's for another day. Um, they'll both be receiving um, warnings, official warnings from the club for that. But where that leaves us right now is second in the league, joint second with Man City. So, mm, not overly happy. We're all bunching up here now, which is not a good sign. So what I'm going to do is, looking at the fixtures, I'm going to play the West Brom game and the Applewell game. Let's see, who have we got? Who have we got that we can come back for? Probably could look to come back for this... Everton game, yeah, I'll come back for the Everton game, I'll play a few games offline, um, come back for the Everton game and do a Merseyside double header, Everton and Liverpool, unless of course there's other fixtures that get put in, in in the meantime that would take precedence over that, but looks like next episode will be a Merseyside double header, so if you guys are excited for that, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time.